Hey everyone, welcome to the Microsoft 365 Copilot Connection. My name is Nick Harris and I'm a Senior Copilot Cloud Solution Architect with Microsoft. We have an awesome update today. This just landed in my inbox. Some updates happening within the Office app experience, specifically Word, PowerPoint, and Excel, and a new agent mode that's being actively released. The way that I understand this, the particular agent mode will work and function and generate materials for you as you have your natural language conversation with it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to check out the features. We're going to talk about the overall impact to the Microsoft 365 Copilot experience with this, as well as when all of this will be available for you. Now, I actually haven't really read anything on this. I've just heard from my peers about what this is. So uh, we're going to all learn together at the same time. It does look like we're calling it agent mode within Excel and Word specifically, and then office agent directly in PowerPoint. I've heard the PowerPoint experience is fantastic, allowing you to have more natural language conversations and invoke additional functionalities against your presentation creation experience and modification experience. It looks like we've done some evaluations against a spreadsheet bench which directly evaluates how well large language models handle real-world spreadsheet tasks. Uh, this directly features 912 authentic questions sourced from online Excel forums paired with complex spreadsheet files containing non-standard tables, multiple spreadsheets, and rich formatting overall. So there's various judging metrics and such. Uh, looks like based on the actual infographic here, uh, accuracy, a pass mark, a Copilot in Excel agent mode performs better than most. Uh, just underneath the human. Again, when we actually get this particular functionality at our own disposal, uh, I would say we on a personal level will be a good judge as well. Uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look here at what agent mode is. Let's open this up. Introducing agent mode in Excel, unlocking the full power of Excel for everyone. In Excel, start with a prompt and Copilot gets to work while you steer and guide. Copilot explains its approach and, using its Excel expertise, applies the right formulas and charts. In just a couple of minutes, you get a full summary of key insights and validation steps to give you confidence in its work. Only Copilot speaks Excel natively. And with agent mode, Copilot builds Excel objects like table structures, formula syntax, and pivot tables. This means you can directly manipulate the grid yourself or iterate with Copilot to make adjustments. Try agent mode in Excel today and start vibe working with Copilot. Now, I thought this was funny bringing up the term vibe working, right? We've had vibe coding for some time, but now vibe working. And, you know, when I look at this being applied to the Excel experience, so far from what I've seen, it does appear to be very valuable. And let me tell you why. In the current Microsoft 365 Copilot experience, you can really only run one particular skill at a time. If you want to generate a column formula, that's specifically what you do. If you want to apply conditional formatting rules, that's what you do. And you have to do that on a specific prompt basis. Uh, it does look like in this example, they only leveraged one specific table of data. So I am curious if this would have the ability to go across tables. We'll have to see as we evaluate once it's fully rolled out as a part of the Frontier program. I do not yet have access to it, so more to come, as we always say. But there's more that you can specifically do. Also notice it actually edited or modified, generated the entirety of that dashboard, which right now, if you're generating a larger form dashboard or data set of information, really the only way I've seen to somewhat do this is with the advanced analysis mode with Python. But then again, you're just aggregating a specific table of data into a new worksheet and a pandas data frame and performing your evaluations, your calculations, your multiple iterative step-by-step -step forecast model application or uh, linear regression analysis, whatever it may be, right? Now it appears that you can actually modify and work with that incorporated data and generate dashboards of tables, pivot charts, charts themselves, all within one single spreadsheet at least in this example, based on an existing specific set of table data. So this does look very intriguing. Of course, how this actually comes to fruition and comes to, into play into actual working scenarios, we're still to judge here once it's fully rolled out for everybody to use. 
Now, getting into Microsoft Word with agent mode, uh, the term vibe writing, as we see here, uh, it appears again to be that more dialogue back and forth. And as you are indicating within your prompt what your intent is, it's actively making some updates. Now, uh, the particular blog that I show here will be in the description of this video below. It does appear there are some prompts here that you could directly try out, such as a monthly report update prompt, a project update prompt, a document style prompt. That's intriguing. Document styling. One of the big limitations within Word Copilot experiences is the way that we format our text, the overall styles and such. So I'm curious to see what this does here. Let's go ahead and take a look. Introducing Agent Mode in Word turning document creation into an interactive vibe writing experience. In Word, tell Copilot what you need. Copilot gets to work, drafting key sections, pulling from your attached work content, and adding the polished finish only Word can deliver. Copilot makes suggestions to keep the process going, so writing feels more like a conversation than a solo task. You stay in control and can accept, adjust, or undo any change. So let's talk about some things that I think are intriguing here. As you're prompting within this agent mode experience in Word, I noticed that it will directly inject modified text throughout the document. The current limitation within Word is the fact that you have to have your mouse pointer focused in a particular core section. If you want to add a new section, or you have to select and modify text with the existing built-in options for Copilot. But if we look at this particular prompt, let's add a conclusion and also a customer testimonial, it adds that material throughout the document, not just in one core location. So once this prompt was submitted, we then see the customer testimonial is added directly inside of the executive summary without our mouse pointer being found really anywhere directly in the document body. And the conclusion, of course, was added directly at the bottom of that particular experience. And what I also noticed as well, and many of you that may have used Copilot experiences in Word in the past, the overall text formats are different too. Uh, Copilot in the current state today when you draft documents is very, very focused on the section header, like the heading one or heading two style headings, and then the particular font families that we use with Copilot experiences, a very rigid structure for formatting. But you look at the document here overall and it's more natural, right? There's some spacing between some of the numbered or bullet lists. The particular text is different as well. It just looks more professional overall. Again, we'll have to see how this actually plays out when we incorporate this into the actual experience and get our hands on. So just one thing I noticed. Uh, also, you'll notice deleted section 5.2 under challenges and opportunities uh, is something that it did as well within the document. So it does appear that it can make modifications in terms of deleting data that exists in the document, along with all of the other uh, textual based updates that we just indicated. Now, the next thing that I found intriguing, they asked a question, what's our projected revenue growth for Q3 2025? And if we look at the particular output, we get the information back based on the document data. However, at the very end, it's just like the main Copilot chat experience. Let me know if you'd like to include this projection in the report, adjust the project uh, projection ass assumptions, or add commentary on the factors influencing Q3 performance. So it's almost more conversational in nature within this agent mode. It does appear that they then prompted, can you add that to the document and add the new reseller agreements that will drive bookings? And the most intriguing thing about this is adding that additional data before it added the information, it requested what type of updates that it would like the user to make. So it gives us three options here, option A, B, and C, as you see on the right-hand side, and you can either add it at the end or move it directly after the executive summary or embed uh, the key Q3 forecast info within the executive summary as well. Now, this is where I actually noticed a slight hiccup or mistake. You'll see they indicate option A right here, right? If you remember in the last one, challenges and opportunities section is gone. And we see the very end of the document here, 5.3 recommendations for Q3 and then the conclusion. And if we look at the actual output that's written, you can see at the very bottom of the document, there's the conclusion paragraph and then Q3 2025 outlook. 
So it actually begins drafting that specific outlook underneath the conclusion paragraph, which you could sort of think of that as a little bit of a hallucination, but I also think it actually got uh, the instruction spot on based on what the user indicated. If you recall, it indicated in option A, add it to the end after the challenges and opportunities section, whatever that section may have been. That was previously deleted. But the initial text was added at the end. So I think the AI got caught up on that and added the section at the very end of the document. This is why it's so important to ensure that the terminology and the detail, the specificity that you use with any form of AI tool be very spot on because it can get very confused. So again, some slight things that I didn't quite expect, but still very interesting. The fact that it's more conversational in nature now. It leverages different forms of document formats, and it gives you some conversational options that you can pick and choose from before you actually apply those updates or section changes or textual-based formatting updates, whatever it might be, into this new document that you're drafting. All right, so for the final agent mode experience, Office Agent, this is directly an agent that's built as a part of the Copilot chat experience. And it does appear this is going to be powered by the Anthropic models. For those that may not be aware, we just rolled out Anthro uh, Anthropic has the Claude, uh, one of the Claude models now built in to the Researcher agent as a part of Microsoft 365 Copilot. Uh, but general note, though, I'm not currently aware if this would require those same form of configurations and security checks and balances. So we'll have to see once more information on this has been introduced. But this is more of a conversational mode to help you build and modify your presentations directly via an agent in Copilot chat. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how this works and functions. Introducing the new Office Agent in Microsoft 365 Copilot, the chat-first way to build Office artifacts, starting with Word and PowerPoint. Just describe what you need, and Office Agent gets to work. Office Agent begins by asking clarifying questions personalized to your prompt, such as key focus areas, style, presentation length, and templates. It then launches multi-step web research to gather and analyze relevant info and images. You can watch as it plans how to create your presentation, executes the plan, and runs quality checks at every step, all while you steer and guide. The output is a polished deck that you can continue to iterate on with Copilot, or hand off to PowerPoint and use Copilot to make edits in the app, like changing some text to a bulleted list. Try Office Agent today and start vibe working with Copilot. Wow, okay. Um. I'll be honest, I was not expecting that. That was really cool. Again, I need to taper the expectations a little bit, but that looked very promising. Uh, there were a few key things that I saw in that video. Let's check it out. So first and foremost, it almost appears like there's a questionnaire that's provided to you to ensure that the AI is responding in the way that you expect. So more of that conversational aspect being built in, just some clarifying discovery type questions. So this is, you know, sort of cool the way this works. That's not really what intrigued me. What intrigued me were things like this, presentation length. Uh, that's one limitation currently in PowerPoint Copilot experiences with Narrative Builder in PowerPoint. You could try to via your prompt indicate, I only want five slides or 10 slides, never really there, right? Uh, it doesn't work and function in that manner. It gives you a rough estimate. Now it looks like you can actually specify the amount of slides you want. Uh, it does look like there's a direct template picker here too. Of course, I think the question I'll give a lot out of this is, can we add our organizational templates to this? Uh, I don't know. We'll find out, right? I'm sure there has to be some form of org template integration because that's the number one question I get from pretty much every single business user when it comes to creating presentations in PowerPoint. Just something to consider. But the fact that you can set presentation length, I think is very valuable. Uh, it does also appear that it's an option to just let the agent decide for you. So uh, if you're feeling lucky and you want to figure out, just, hey, let the agent do it for you, uh, there isn't a button for that, let office agent decide. In this case, it looks like they've indicated their specific options they want. And then we actually start to see how it performs its web search. 
So look at all of these different articles of material when it's pulling from the direct web-based data sources. I would assume this is most likely still using the same form of web search that we use today with the Bing search services. But again, we'll have to see how this might be changed if we're using the anthropic models now. So it's done all of its web search information for all of the data, the text, and then it's also searching for images. It does appear that it's searching on the public web, possibly for images as well. Uh, very curious and intrigued to see how that might affect the overall brand experience in the way we pull images. And then it starts building out the plan. So we actually see the slides being generated live. So then you see it starts to build the slides. It has all of the particular slide entries listed, and then it navigates into each one of these entries and starts to build out the actual slide content. So we should see these expand, and then now we would see the actual code and preview of what that slide looks like as it's generating the data. And there we go. Then we see the populated slides. I am curious if you can actually go in and see the code. It also does appear there's some interactivity built into the slides too. Sort of how like you have interactivity in Copilot pages built on the right side of your screen when you send Copilot data to a Copilot page for note taking or knowledge sharing, whatever it may be. You now have the ability to interact with some of these like charts and graphs and such as well. You can see with them hovering over the marketing uh, column here within this AI adoption by department section. Very good looking slides too from an overall brand standpoint. So then they navigate through, they click the download button, and of course you can modify the text within built-in skills that we have with Copilot in PowerPoint. Uh, it does also appear there's a present button though. If you just want to directly present from this particular UI screen in Copilot chat. So these appear to be some really amazing updates, but again, we'll work on getting more hands-on as they are released. As of making this video, I do not yet have these experiences within my Microsoft tenant or within my demonstration tenants, but if your organization is in the frontier mode, you should have these experiences available here very shortly. So that's it for me for today, everyone. Thank you all so much for your support, your comments, your likes, your shares. Your support is always appreciated. If you have any questions or concerns, always leave them in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe as always, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.